But before I end, there's something more to be said about the future of money. I was attending a, an interfaith dialogue, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, at uh, Drew University in the United States. I was the solitary speaker for Islam and I was outnumbered. There were so many rabbis and so many Christian ministers. Wow. But it was a very interesting experience to dialogue with Jews and Christians at that time. So during the process of the, the, the dialogue, I said that when Jesus went into the temple, the, the, the gospel says that he found the money changers ripping off the people and he cursed them and he overturned their tables and he chased them out of the temple but they don't tell us this about Christ, about Christmas time when they only talk about the lamb hmm? this, <laughs> this was Jesus the lion so I said I don't think they were money changers I think they were lending money on interest oh my gosh when I said that, the rabbis were smiling, the ministers were smiling. We got him around now. <laughs> so one of the chief rabbis got up, smiling and very gently said to me, No, Imran, you're wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you what is right. <laughs> and then he explained to me, in a very nice way he did it. You see, Imran, the temple minted its own coins. Because the Roman government, when they minted their coins, they'll put the head of that, the British call him a bloke, the emperor, <laughs> on the coin. And this was haram. It's not kosher. Because graven images are prohibited by the law. But the people had to come to the temple. For example, you wanted to sacrifice a goat. You're not allowed to sacrifice it yourself. Someone in the temple has to sacrifice it in order for it to be halal. And then you've got to pay the temple. And there are many other things you had to pay the temple. But you could not pay the temple with Roman money. Because that money was haram. Because of the graven image. So the temple minted its own coins. And when the people came to the temple, they had to go to the money changers and the money changers will change the Roman money for the temple money. And in the process of changing that money, they were ripping them off. That is the correct answer, Imran. So I bowed my head in humility. Thank you for correcting me. Not knowing, not knowing that 20 years later, that correction that they gave to me would come to help me with my Islamic eschatology. The false messiah, Dajjal, cannot rule the world from Jerusalem and have Jews accept him as the true messiah if Israel is using bogus money. No. Israel will have to mint gold and silver coins and these gold and silver coins will have no graven images and so now I realize that history is going to end with a return to gold and silver coins as money because Israel would have replaced the United States and the rest of the world following Israel will have to return to gold and silver coins as money this is coming I don't know how soon, maybe 20 years or so, but this is coming. And it is amazing, as I speak, that there are so many states in the United States of America which are now either enacting legislation or about to do it to make gold and silver legal tender. Utah was the first. Our next speaker probably has more knowledge of this subject than I do. And so now we end our talk on Islam, the international